And welcome back. Well, you know that dish, the one that only mom knows how to make right? Yeah, it's like my mom's Thanksgiving stuffy. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, even if she shares her recipe, nobody can make it mm -hmm. like her. And that's what comfort food is. It just makes you feel good to eat it. So joining us now is someone who knows a whole lot about comfort food. We have Ann Burkhart. She's a home ec economist and author of this book, Hot Dish Heaven, covering classic casseroles from Midwest kitchens. She's here now to show us how to make penne and chicken casserole italiano. I yeah. love Yes. So nice to have you here on the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I so, like Milwaukee a lot. Oh, you Thank do? Because you. you're yes. from Minnesota, right? Yes, but I've been here any number of times on okay. visits. Okay. Yes. Well, I love that. Yeah, you call it hot dish. Oh, Coming yes. after my heart. But it's, but it's, uh, the rest of the United States is casserole. It is casserole, yes. correct. And and today we're calling it comfort food because it's the, the comfort food and recipe gonna, essay contest. We're going to talk about where people can find this mm -hmm. recipe and how you can also enter to win a contest of $10,000 and the nine runners up get $500 each. So stay tuned for that information. But mm -hmm. let's go ahead and make this let's dish. Let's go ahead and make this. Okay, yes. so what do you have there in your, your uh, large bowl? Here, we, here in the large bowl is uh, the, two, the eight ounce package of penne mm -hmm. okay and uh, she has the quick cook over there but you can you can do it the old seven minute way or the new three minute way okay okay uh, boil that drain it uh, then you have three cups of uh, cooked diced chicken okay and uh, if it's after Thanksgiving like you were talking about or after you've grilled the turkey on the, on Absolutely. the grill then uh, you can dice do up, turkey dice up turkey okay right and then a half a cup of nuts mm -hmm. oh you have uh, slivered almonds I see yes I have slivered almonds pine nuts are, are authentic also, and you could even do chopped walnuts if you yeah. have those in the cupboard. Okay, okay. so you're going to toss that up toss a little that bit? Toss that up a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Get that ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a generous amount of chicken, which I think men and boys really like. Absolutely. Yeah, why do men like hot dish so much? <laughs> it's because they can always get a second portion. <laughs> and, 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 and maybe they can take some for their lunch right. the next day at work. And yeah, it's so exactly. good reheated. It's one of those foods that's always good reheated. Yes, I love yes, it. You know they the, can get seconds. The pasta sips up the sauce. It does. Oh. Yes. Mm. yes. It sips up the sauce. Not and soak, this, it sips. This sauce is terrific. What's in that sauce? You yeah. can go ahead and pour it into the bowl. Sure, sure. It's it's uh, it's pasta. Yeah. Uh, it's pesto, which of course is, is basil mm -hmm. and garlic and some cheese and some oil. Okay. And uh, you can buy it all prepared. This is a prepared product. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's mixed with uh, uh, the bottled Alfredo sauce, a cup yeah. and a half of that. Okay. You mix those. It gives it just a faint t uh, green tint. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really coats everything very, very thoroughly. Yeah, you can see that. It's, it's going to sip up the sauce, but not so much that you have no <laughs> sauce left. No, there'll be plenty of sauce. And right. the aroma and is so yes, good and, with that pesto. And here we have the... Uh, the, the uh, some some dried crumbs, uh, only a third of a cup, okay. and then the five cheese Italian blend, and that's all mm. ready to go for the topping. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna so, help you. Yes, lift this I need bowl you to help okay. me. Yes, I'd be happy to. Okay. Yes. And then do we um, want to scoop in together? It's gonna scoop it in. Okay. Right. All right. It's gonna, gonna it's gonna be very pop full. It in right? Whoop, whoop, that's okay. I always, always bop some uh, onto the corner there. That's okay. <laughs> it smells marvelous. Doesn't that it pesto smell delicious? Smells so good. I could and eat it just like this. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> and it wouldn't hurt you if you did. Yeah, see? Yes, yes, there we go. Okay. And then we're going to sprinkle this on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and, and so you've got breadcrumbs and a little bit of cheese in there? Yes, it's the five cheese Italian Ooh, yeah. blend. Okay, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the contest, if that's okay, while you do that. Yes, anniversary. Do. Yes, it's um, Kermet Pasta. Okay, it's their comfort food recipe and essay contest. Now, make sure you pay attention to these details mm -hmm. because it's, it was launched on March. It will be launched. It was already launched, yeah, March it was 21st. Launched in April. Sorry, right. I was thinking about May. Okay, but it doesn't end until May 30th That's right. at midnight. It's 11.59 <laughs> p.m. Okay, right. so you can right. submit one comfort food recipe using cremat pasta along with an essay in 100 words or less describing what makes your dish so comforting for the chance to win 10 grand. Now, the nine runners-up will each receive $500, and you can submit your recipe and essays to cremat.com. That's also where you can find this great recipe for the chicken penne italiano. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. I was going to suggest a menu. 
Okay. Uh, green salad. Yes. With this? Uh, okay. uh, maybe a green vegetable like mm. the asparagus that just came in, and then uh, some sort of a, a, a simple dessert. Oh yeah. Uh, What's a simple dessert? Well, you know, I was thinking of spumoni ice cream. Oh right out of yes. Package. That's yes. a great idea. Mm -hmm. yes. it's Keeping the Italian, Italian dish. theme. Yes, it's an Italian dish. You might as well have an Italian meal. I Ooh. gotta taste this. And yes. Man, that is good. Yes, oh. we love mm. it. We love it, and mm -hmm. it's so easy to make. I think you could you could make it the first time and then teach your teenagers how to make it. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, you know if you've got the products, way well, you can do that. Our it's producer so just in our ear said, "Tiffany, you I took can't have any bites. more bites." She said, mm -hmm. "Don't take any more. Don't take any more." But I always get a second one yes. for when we go to break. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't, Delicious. if you don't enter the contest, you can't win. That's true, yes. right? And you're totally right about I that. I think you got the ten thousand dollar recipe right here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I'm I'm happy the way it turned out. You know, it's, it's really been good. It's I really it's fantastic. Great. Okay, so here's the information for the Cremet Comfort Food Recipe and Essay Contest. Again, it's the one hundredth anniversary, so that's where you can join and submit until May thirtieth. It's Cremet. Dot com. That's also where you can find Anne's recipe. And remember, her book is, again, Hot Dish, Hot dish, dish Heaven. heaven. heaven.